Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in this video, I would like to explain to you how you can restore a previous version of the page, of the SharePoint page. Let me first explain to you what I'm talking about. Um, say you have a SharePoint site, it could be a communication site, a team site, doesn't really matter, and you're making a bunch of changes, and then you just want to go back to how it was uh, a few hours ago, uh, yesterday, three weeks ago, etc. How, how do we do that? Well, let me demonstrate it to you. It's actually quite simple. So I'm going to maybe navigate to one of my other sites. This happens to be a team site, but just like I said, it doesn't really matter. It could be any type of site. And of course, I'm on a modern page. All right. And let's just say I'm going to make some adjustments to this page. So I hit the edit button. I'm on the edit mode right now. And let me make a few changes. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Again, what kind of changes? Uh, let me make it a two column page and maybe add some web ports. All right, let's just add uh, some web ports here. Essentially, I'm making just a bunch of changes. That's all I'm doing. Uh, we are going to move this around here. All right, now, so how do we come back? How do we come back to how it used to be? So a uh, couple of ways for you to do so. Uh, so option number one uh, only works if you are still editing the page. So you see I'm still editing the page. I did not hit publish. All right, so what I can do is I can use this undo button. All right, and just like in Word and Excel and all these other applications, right? I mean, it pretty much goes back one step. So let me click it. You see it reverts back one step. Let me click it, click it again. Again, you see it seems to raise, you know, kind of one last step. But essentially, I can go, you know, you know back one step, one step at a time, all right? Um, so essentially, you know, this option is great. If you are still kind of editing the page, you did not hit publish. Let me hit publish. All right. Uh, so now let's just say, you remember how my page used to be three columns and a little bit different layout and all that. Um, if I click the edit button, I can no longer undo. You see it's grayed out. Uh, all right. Because I already hit publish. So how do I restore the previous version of the page? Uh, well, there is another option available to you, and we're going to employ the same functionality, the same uh, trick uh, that we have with documents, with the regular documents that we have that we have in the document library. Uh, we are going to utilize something called version history. Essentially, each and every time you publish a page, it creates another version of the page. All right, just like with documents, every time you modify them and save them, it creates another version. And we can go back in history. Same idea with pages. So let me demonstrate how to go back in history uh, with pages that have already been published. We need to navigate to where the pages are stored. They're stored in a document library in a library called Site Pages. Uh, Site Pages is just like a document library uh, for documents. It's just a special library for pages. To navigate there, we need to click the gear icon, Site Contents. Site pages, you see again, you know, here is my regular library for documents. Here is my site pages library for pages. Here we go. Here is my page. All right. Hit right click, version history, and it gives me the whole history of the page. Essentially, from the you know time I created this page, all right. Um, you know, through all the modifications, every time essentially I hit publish, it created another version. You see, I'm, in, I'm up to version 53. At the moment, so I want to go to how it used to be, you know, before this change. So I need to go to version 52, all right, from a few days ago. Drop down, restore. So again, we're at 53. I'm restoring version number 52. Restore. You give a, you get a little warning message. Here we go. Now, what happens? It does restore the previous version, but it does not create a major version. If you notice, it creates a minor version, 53.1. What does it mean? It means that it did restore the page, but it did not publish it yet. It did not make it available to anyone else just yet. So for that, I mean, uh, essentially, if I click on my home page, you see it's back. It's back. Remember three columns now. Everything is, uh, is uh, how it used to be. But it's not a published page, which means that I'm the only one who can still see this page. No one else can see the page. And it does it on purpose. It wants to make sure that, you know, as a site owner, right, as, as the person who restored the page, I mean, it wants to make sure that you're okay, you know, before everyone gets to see it. All right. And then you hit publish or republish. And now it's published. Now a major version is created behind the scenes. And essentially now, 
I was able to restore the um, you know the page to the previous version to how it used to be. All right. Uh, and by default, by default, it stores the last 500 versions of each page, and you can actually tweak it to make it 50,000 if you want. So you will have quite a bit of history, but by default, it stores the last 500 versions of each page. So you will still, you know, you should you should be should be good for some time uh, to be able to restore it, um, uh, you know, to a previous version. All right, so that's all I wanted to show you again. Two options: you have this undo button if you edit in the page, and then you have this version history option if you already published, um, you know, you, you know the the particular version of the page and you want to go back in history. All right. So hopefully you learned something new today. Uh, as always, happy to see you on my blog SharePointMaven.com and my YouTube channel. And thank you very much, and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.